124.22. What a nice day it was for the NASDAQ composite, which is in a bear market. But let me tell you something. When the stochastics were at zero, and let me just show you something. We had a nice pop off of the bottom, just like we should have. 60% of the NASDAQ stocks were at zero stochastics. I mean, come on, you can't go lower than that. Just like you can't go above 100 and being overbought. It works both ways. Pendulum swings, volatility is here. Bear trend is still in play. It's just that we get that upside volatility. That's what we told you. That's what exactly happened. Now, every volatility, when it starts, is if you take a look at the weighted bear trend, is what I call it in this index. But bear trends can make you a lot of money. A lot. And it did. Today was a great day. How to trade oversold markets. But not just oversold. Extreme oversold. And all the indicators were as low as they could go and they had to turn up. And the fear indicator. Let's talk about VXN. That is the NASDAQ 100 volatility, NASDAQ comp volatility index. And it went to all-time highs. You can see the big wick coming down on the NASDAQ 100. VXN, we call it the VXN, fear indicator. Been using it ever since uh, 30 years of it. So it's how you gauge a bottom. It's how you gauge volatility. It's how you do a lot of things you're not accustomed to. Let's just put it that way. But back to, and then you can see the big wick off of the bottom. Okay, now, we have earnings season. We've had three straight down weeks, just like I forecasted it would be and traded it every day. You are on the channel. Tell your friends about it. you got to spend a lot of time there. Look at the time stamps. Look at the trades, look at where the market was, look at your charts. Look, we're traders. If you want help, sign up for the free five-day trial. The volatility will have its up days as they always have and as they always will, my friends. So support, resistance, and a lot of other things come into play. It can get complicated. Let us simplify that for you. Um, I said that volatility is going to toss you up like a green salad. Well, the NASDAQ composite went 781 points from the top down. Yes, it did. And then it rebounded and closed up 93 points to the positive. And that was what we call a mini capitulation is what we call it. And if you want to learn more about that, wow, we have videos on it. Other bear markets, other bear trends. Remember, when bear trends starts, they start. Nothing goes in a straight line. Volatility takes care of that, okay? And when the short sellers have to buy the cover, all the stocks have been short, well, you get great bounces, and that's part of volatility. Many factors, but I will tell you, earnings season is upon us. And my friends, look at it. When I called the short here, we did, and we have all the videos, go on the website. They're all categorized for you. Spend your time. Do your homework. Get over there now. But the NASDAQ composite has done exactly. So, look. This is what we call one. That was the recovery one. They come up. They peak it off holiday. Bam. Attempted recovery. But what happened? Every recovery failed, just like we said it would. Yeah, we have all the. It's all documented. Can't deny that. But we said it before the fact, not afterwards. Tell your friends about that one. Subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date. Lightning speed right in your e-box. More volatility. When On the days that we go up and hit resistance, then volatility back down. 
So upside volatility could go from one day, three to five days up, okay, and whatnot. And that would be a nice upside move before they made new lower lows, as they will. I will tell you, you have no clue of what's coming. Just like I told you before the year started, and I put it up there, headline, 2020 volatility will toss you up like a green salad, and I know it did. Let's trade volatility together. And then we'll march on through volatility with high profits. Want to make money? Sign up into the story.